Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Steve and welcome back to West Coast Outdoors. So I was uh, meaning today to go outside, go for a bit of a hike, uh, just, you know, enjoy the nice day I'm having today. But unfortunately, my vehicle's stuck at the shop right now and I'm not able to get out. Um, so nevertheless, I figured I would, uh, you know, put up a quick little video of something I've been toying around with. Um, what I've seen some guys doing lately is uh, they've been carrying their knives uh, baldric style or like in a sling across their chest in a couple of videos and I really like I really like that system especially for a, a bigger knife that would seem to make sense to me um, like I carry uh, the SCHF 37 when I'm going outdoors and the way it's configured is it's got the belt loop on the back and uh, excuse me some some tie downs for your your leg on the very bottom and you know carrying a big knife on your side like it hangs pretty low it just kind of flops around even if you got it tight and you know I just personally don't like carrying anything around my leg it's just kind of cumbersome you know uh, hits on stuff when you're going through the bush so what I did is uh, I had some leftover paracord hanging around and I I braided a uh, it's called the monkey monkey braider chain sinet really easy um, but I braided a sling for this thing and this is just a continuous, uh, I think it's just over, it's probably between three, four feet, foot piece. And uh, it's a little bit long for me as it is, but I'll show you, it's super adjustable. And uh, yeah, there's multiple ways you can, you can wear this. Um, so the first style you could wear it, I guess, would be uh, the Baldrick style. And so I could just sling it over my side here. And, you know, this gets it off your side again, but... You know, right now I find this a little too low if I'm walking around uh, right now. Um, but what some guys I've seen do is they will uh, take a carabiner or something and hook it onto their belt so that it stays put. But again, this is too low for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, the sling up to the desired kind of height here. And then I'm going to tie a little stop knot there, which for me is just going to be a trucker's hitch. Nice, easy knot to tie. And you don't even have to go too tight because of this braid. It actually it, it binds really well. So I just tie it like that, nice and simple. You know, kind of tuck that behind, and there you go. I have it right on my on my side like that, and I can carry it this way. I could also carry it on my chest if I like, or um, if I want to carry it kind of concealed. If I have a backpack and you're in an area where people get nervous about knives, you know, I just have my backpack over top, and it would be kind of covered, you can't see anything except for the strap, which is whatever. So that's one way you could do it. I've also seen um, another style where you can, uh, the cord goes on your back, and um, you carry the knife underneath your, your armpit like that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this, this style, uh, but I'm sure some guys might like it. It might work better with a smaller knife. And all you do is you take your sling, make an X, put it under one arm. It's going to be tricky because I do have a hood on. Um, so it's crossed over like that. And then just behind your back. And then you adjust it from there. And then it sits right under your armpit. I Again, I don't find this super comfortable. I wouldn't necessarily carry... It like this for this knife it is a bit long too um, but you know potentially you could do it that way or a way I just discovered and again this is pretty tricky to get on and off um, what I just figured out is if I take this this sling and adjust it so I have both halves pretty much even if I carry it under my uh, my opposite arm and around my neck I have it, um, let me just adjust this where I want it, I have the knife right here on my chest, which I, I really like this position, this is really comfortable for me, uh, being right handed, and you know, it just sits there, easy, easy to take out, it's pretty comfortable because the straps are now pretty, pretty wide, and it, it stays on your chest really well. But 
yeah, so I've just been, been fooling around finding different ways to carry it. And, you know, personally, I think I'm going to be carrying it this way next time I'm out in the woods. It works really well, especially with a backpack, because um, you have your straps going here, and you can even do your cross chest strap right underneath so you can still access your knife. And, you know, that's not going to bother you. And it, you can even see if I'm standing straight, like it barely hangs off my body. There wouldn't be any real movement, even less than when I had it uh, Baldrick style here, because it would still kind of bounce around a bit on your side. But, uh, yeah, that's just uh, some things I figured out recently. Thought I would share those thoughts with you. Um, what I'm going to do is I will post the... Uh, the link to the video where the guy shows how to do the chain sinet braid, which is really easy. Um, I think I started with like 10 feet of cord or maybe a little bit less, and it took me less than five minutes to braid it. And it's nice too, because at the end, if I actually need this cord for something, you can pull it all apart and you have your full length uh, at your disposal again. But yeah, so that is my video on my, uh, my knife sling system. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, my name's Steve. Thank you so much for checking out my channel, West Coast Outdoors. And have an awesome day, guys. See ya.